Hi, I'm Grant from The Streaming Guys and today we're going to have a look at the fantastic new product from Blackmagic Design, the ATEM Mini. We're going to look at its key features and perceived drawbacks and we're going to show you how we use it to produce professional level live video streaming productions. So we've set up a Blackmagic ATEM Mini and we're going to talk about its key features, show you how it works and we're also going to talk about the perceived uh, disadvantage of not having a multi-view. So the first big feature of the ATEM Mini is its price point. In Australia it's uh, less than $500. Uh, you can buy it for e even less than $450 at the moment and that is a fantastic price for all the capabilities it has. The first major point is for the price you get a fully featured capture device to get video into a computer. Now if you don't use any other feature other than plug one camera into the ATEM Mini and plug the ATEM Mini into your computer, you've got a fantastically featured capture device which is actually cheaper than most uh, capture devices on the market. If you do want to use it as a production switcher, it has four HDMI inputs and each HDMI input has built-in scaling. Now, to get built-in scaling on other switches, you need to spend thousands of dollars. And what built-in scaling does, it allows you to plug in different capture formats from different devices, and they will all work at the same time. On other uh, production switches, all of the input devices need to match. For instance, you could plug a GoPro into port one, a uh, traditional HDMI camera into port 2 and a laptop into port 3 and they will all work simultaneously. That's unheard of at this price point. Uh, it also has two audio inputs and paired with those audio inputs are professional level controls and filters for audio. Audio really does put the icing on the cake of a production and professional quality audio will make your production look fantastic and sound fantastic at the same time. The audio capabilities of the ATEM Mini include EQ, compression and a noise gate. When you combine those three filters alone, you will create fantastic professional quality audio for your production. The other key point for this switcher is it is a hardware switcher with zero latency. That means you can output the video to big screens at a venue and the lip sync of the audio and video will be perfect. When you run um, video and audio through software switches on a computer there's a slight delay and it sometimes looks a little odd at a venue with the lip sync slightly out. It also has chroma key, picture-in-picture -picture transitions uh, and all of the features that you would expect from a professional level uh, production switcher. The inbuilt scaling capabilities of the ATEM Mini truly are fantastic. Currently we have two cameras, each with different video formats. One is 720p, the other one is 1080i and we have a laptop with a PowerPoint presentation which is 1080p 60. As you can see, the ATEM Mini is taking all three inputs and scaling them to match each other as the project format. As a capture device, the ATEM Mini allows you to bring in those three or four inputs, create a project format and plug it straight into your computer with USB 3 or USB-C connectivity and any streaming or video software will recognize the Blackmagic ATEM Mini and bring the video in. As you can see on the computer at the moment, we're running Livestream Studio software, but it works equally as well with Wirecast, vMix, Facebook, Workplace, BlueJeans, Skype, and Zoom. One of the features that most people will use is the ability to put lower thirds and picture-in-picture picture onto their production. So um, I've loaded up a lower third with my name, my logo and my position and I simply press the on key and it brings up Grant Harper Managing Director 
I can turn that off. Now I want to do a picture in picture. So I'll select my PowerPoint presentation and then I'll turn on my picture in picture and it shows me the picture in picture straight away. And I can change its position simply by pressing the various buttons to push it around. Now using the software, I can also uh, change the size and position to give us a more accurate um, size. So I'll just bring up that size there and then I'll reposition it further down to make it fit. And we've now got a picture in picture of my main camera and my PowerPoint presentation. And I could switch through my PowerPoint presentation um, and you can see that possibly the picture in picture would be better off at the bottom of the screen. Uh, it's really quite simple and a little bit of practice and you'll get some fantastic results. Um, as you can see, I'm switching through uh, a PowerPoint presentation on an external laptop. It's now over the writing, so let's now pop it back up to the top of the screen. And, uh, and then when I'm finished with that, I just simply turn it off. The picture in picture is um, deleted and then I can go back to camera one and push my title back up onto the screen. Now at all times, this is going into a software package which allows me to record and stream the presentation. And it is also outputting to uh, an HDMI output of the actual um, production, which could be put on big screens at the venue, or it could be a foldback monitor for the person on stage. One of the perceived drawbacks mentioned on other forums is the ATEM Mini's lack of multi-view output. On more expensive production switches, there's an HDMI output which allows you to preview all of the incoming video signals prior to switching live to them. Now it is a fantastic feature and I'll admit on our bigger productions, we like to have the, uh, the multi-view feature, but on smaller productions such as two camera and PowerPoint input, we find it very easy to use the inbuilt monitors on the cameras to frame up our shots prior to the production. The way I would use this production switcher with two cameras and a PowerPoint production is I have main camera on camera one, secondary camera on camera two, and PowerPoint presentation on input three. So I want to adjust uh, what the secondary camera can see. So you can see I've got a shot there now and I want to come in a bit closer on the ATEM Mini. So I go to the main shot and I can make an adjustment and cut back to that camera. The Blackmagic ATEM Mini really is a fantastic product. Thanks for joining us at the streaming guys. We'll talk again soon.